Kung meron tayong dalawang fractions na kailangang i-add at subtract, ito yung basic rule na kailangan nating tandaan. Kung meron tayong a over b plus or minus c over d, to combine these two fractions by, multiply, by addition and subtraction, and multiply nyo lang yung denominator, that's why I have bd, tapos kunin nyo yung product ng diagonals. So, d times a is ad, tapos b times c is cb. So, ito yung ating rule na gagamitin sa pag-add and subtract ng rational expressions. So, for number 1, kung meron akong 2x or 2 over x plus 3 over y, using this rule, multiply ko yung denominator, I have xy, tapos, i-multiply ko yung diagonals. So, 2 times y is 2y, 3 times x is 3x. So, ito yung sum nung dalawang rational expression ko, expressions ko. 2y plus 3x all over xy. Now, your second example ko, 5y all over x minus 2z all over y. Using my rule in subtracting rational or fractions, my product of xy will be xy, tapos multiply ko yung diagonals ko, 5y squared minus 2xz. So, ito ngayon yung aking difference nitong dalawang fractions using my basic rules in subtracting um, fractions. Now, for number one, dito sa example ko na to, medyo mas complicated siya kumpara doon sa nauna kong example. So, kung meron akong 2 over x, add it to 3 over x plus 2. Using nung um, formula na ginagamit natin kanina, Mumultiply ko itong dalawa, kaya meron akong x times x plus 2, tapos i-mumultiply ko yung diagonals nitong dalawang fractions. So, 2 times x plus 2 plus 3 times x will be my numerator. Ngayon, hindi ka, ka, parehas, hindi ka parehas nung uh, nauna ko, pwede ko pang i-simplify itong mga numerator at denominator ko. So, kung i-distribute ko si 2 dito sa x plus 2, magkakaroon ng 2x plus 4, added to 3x. Tapos yung sa denominator ko naman, kapag dinistribute ko si x dito sa x plus 2, meron akong x squared plus 2x. Doon sa numerator ko, pwede ko pang mag-combine ng like terms. Kaya yung 2x and 3x ko, pwede ko pang simplify. So yung final answer ko from these two fractions will be 5x plus 4 all over x squared plus 2x. So yung pag-add at subtract ng fractions, ginagamitan din siya ng pag-simplify ng mga polynomials. So bago nyo iwan yung sagot nyo, make sure na simplest form yung numerator mo at saka yung denominator mo. By 1, looking at your fractions kung pwede mo pa siyang i-distribute. Or 2, tingnan mo yung fraction mo kung pwede ka pang mag-combine ng like terms dun sa taas at dun sa baba. Now, yung mga susunod ko namang mga examples, pare-pareha sila ng denominators. At alam natin na pag nag a tayo ng fractions with same denominators, ang rule ay napakasimple lang. Kapag parehas ang denominator, copy the denominator, tapos add or subtract yung numerator. Ito yung gagawin natin sa example number 2. So, kung meron akong 5 over 3x minus 9 over 3x, since parehas sila ng denominator, pwede ko siyang kopyahin na lang, tapos subtract ko yung aking numerator. 5 minus 9 will give me negative 4, kaya yung final answer ko will be negative 4 all over 3x. So, hindi ko na ginamitan ito ng formula na ginagamit natin kanina kasi ang mga denominators mo ay parehas lang. So, number 3, meron akong 2x all over 2x plus 1 plus 5x all over 2x plus 1. Again, my denominators are the same, so I can simply copy them. Kaya meron akong 2x plus 1. Tapos yung sa numerator naman, i-add ko na lang siya. Kaya 2x plus 5x, which is like terms na pwede kong i-combine. Ang final answer ko will be 7x all over 2x plus 1. At for my fourth example, meron akong 12x squared all over x times y plus 3 minus 4x squared all over x times y plus 3. Again, yung denominator ko is parehas lang. So, kukopyahin ko lang yung denominator ko and then isusubtract ko yung aking numerator. So, 12x squared minus 4x squared, they are like terms, kaya pwede ko silang isubtract. So, 12x squared minus 4x squared will give me 8x squared all over x times y plus 3. Now, itong answer na to ay hindi pa simplest form kasi itong factor ko ng x sa baba ay pwede ko pang i-cancel doon sa x ko sa taas. Kaya, ang final answer ko would be 8x all over y plus 3. So, again, 
maging um, critical kayo sa pag-check kung pwede nyo pang i-simplify yung inyong fractions bago kayo mag-sagot ng mga expressions tulad na ito.